What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm in Jello here if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Today I'm doing another spin my stash. If you don't know what that is, I have spinner wheels for every step in my makeup routine with every product in my collection except for eyebrows, false lashes, and lip liners and eyeliners. So I spin for every step in my routine to get something random, which helps me use the products I have in my collection that maybe I haven't used in a while, or try out some new stuff that I still need to test. And yeah, maybe I get a colorful look today, which I'll be okay with because I'm wearing white and I'm probably going to wipe it off to film another video. So we'll see. So if you're interested in this, you might have already gotten spoilers in the thumbnail of what products I have or kind of the look I got, but I have no idea. I also don't usually look like this. I always start these barefaced. But yeah, if you're interested in that, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's get it. So I'm going to screen record. Yes, yes ma'am. And we're going to start with primer. 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 I'm gonna spin. Put it in my makeup bag. Period. The color pop pretty fresh. And I don't already. Jeez. Next is foundation. I spin in the order of my makeup, by the way. Your foreign will love yourself a foundation. Period. My fave. Next is concealer. I don't know if this will match me right now. I don't know if this will match me right now. This is a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the shade Ginger, which I might need to add something else. So, just in case. I'm going to put this Kaja concealer in there just in case to brighten it up. Setting powder. Spin. You spin my head. Jacqueline. What is this? Luminous powder? But what is this called? It's not called the luminous powder. The luminous powder, all right, and dewy, dewy, dewy. Then, set my face. I bronze. Okay, it's the Becca, Becca bronzer and bronze bondy. Then I blush. I'm still testing this out. This is the e.l.f. the putty putty blush. I'm pretty sure it's in like Turks and Caicos or something, but I wasn't a huge fan of that. Another eye. Highlighter. Okay, I have this Pixie Rage Loves palette. Found it at TJ Maxx. Then setting spray. Well, that's some new setting sprays, but I'll do this after I film my next video. Seattle of London. Coconut spray. And then I do my eyebrows, and then I do my eyeshadow. So let's see. Well, let's see if I should bronze. I mean, contour. So yes or no. Contour, yes or no. Let's see what contour she use. Okay, cocoa contour. And then I do eyeshadow. So let's see the shadow vibes. Shadow vibes? 
Shadow vibes. Shadow vibes. Gonna be neutral or colorful. Okay. Neutral it is. And if we should use a single shadow, yes or no. Okay. Yes on the single shadow, so neutral palettes. Good for that. Mm, Jackie Aina palette. I might do something like a little bit dramatic. And then single single shadow, single shadow. Hello, single shadow, single shadow. The Jackie Aina palette's over there, so I have to get up. Shall we dance from Dose of Colors? Night Sky, and this is Shelly Dance, Mascara, Mascara, I think that's the Kevin Huang, the Expert Mascara. This might be expiring soon, so we'll see if that's good, or if I should get rid of that. Okay, let's see. Yes or no if I need a gloss. Don't mind the helicopter. It's always a helicopter. No gloss. <laughs> I might take matters into my own hands. And then lips. Do I want a colorful lip? No. Oh, I have a thing for extra shadows. Let's see. Let's see. Uh... Colorful, nude. Oh, I need to edit my lip colors. Though. That's the thing. I just. Do I have that? Let me check if I have that. Okay, so I do have the Moni Nude Cream Lipstick. I grabbed this Jacqueline Nudie Lipstick in case I want. To line up the nude color, and I got these Jackie Aina palettes. So now you could put this all in my face. Exciting. Okay, so let's begin with primer. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I actually got this in a mini because I love it so much and I want to take it on vacation. But the mini is perfect. For travel obviously cannot take up so much room it's like the best hydrating primer it smells like dried bananas to real mix next is the pure 401 love your selfie foundation it's windy outside this is tn3 i don't i haven't had this for too long but can you see that can you see that is that? The color is separating. But I haven't had this for so long. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. This might be a little bit dark. For me. Oh gosh. For me right now. Okay. Actually, it's a lot of work. I'm going to pump. That pure and a pump of LA Girl White to mix that in. I did have the lighter sheet, but since I bought this LA Girl White foundation or white mixing pigment, I returned the, the lighter one because, you know, just to save room and money, I guess. So I use this instead. I put this pure foundation on the other day and I wasn't as happy with it as I used to be, but it could have just been like the primer I was using. I don't know. It just seemed a little bit too dry for me. I don't know. Are my preferences changing? And what is that chin? You know, you get into your 20s and all of a sudden you have this chin. So there's the foundation on. 
And I think the other day I wasn't too impressed with it because of the primer I was using. But with my glowy hydrating primers, this is stunning, stunning as always. So let's put on this NARS Concealer Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the shade 2 Ginger. I bought this concealer during the Sephora sale because Jessica Brown loves it. And I was like, you know what, let me try this out again. And then when I tried it out, I liked it a lot. I'm going to put just a little bit of the Kaja concealer. This is the Kaja something. Don't Settle concealer in the shade Waffles just to brighten. Just to brighten. Oh, and that was a lot. And right here and right here. Even though I do have that Coco Contour kit to use, which I can use to brighten up as well. It's raining. I think it's raining, you guys. See the difference? How much brighter I am now. Definitely need to set this because I it's really creasing. So we have this Jaclyn Hill cut or Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder. I feel like there's a different name for that. This is the shade Jumi. I'll be testing this out. This is more of like a testing kind of situation with this powder. I'm scared. Will it make or break this look right now? We'll see. So let me make sure these creases are blended out. The Anari set. And it still looks very dewy. It still looks just as dewy. I'm not like impressed with that as an under eye setting powder. So I'm gonna jump into this real quick, this Coco Contour Kit in the shade Medium Highlight. And put that under my eye. I'm not impressed with that as an under eye setting powder, which is fine. Where's my foundation brush? Oh, it's dirty, huh? I'm going to use the Jaclyn powder all over the face. Wow. Can you have any peace in my life? I feel like I'm going to be extraordinarily dewy today. Like the dewiest I've ever been. What is that sound? Okay guys, that's the face set and it still looks dewy. Like it still looks just as dewy as before I said it. Is it set? It's still a little tanky. <laughs> I'm battling freaking mother nature right now. It's great. We'll see how that wears. I don't know how good that will be for like the summertime if you're an oily girl. If you're a dry girl, you'd probably like this. But then if you have texture, you probably wouldn't because I might emphasize that texture. But I have texture, so let me see. It's not emphasized. And I do have texture issues lately, but it's not exaggerated. So pretty good powder. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, contour. Let's contour now, shall we? This is a Laura Lee brush. L13. She said she uses it for contour. This is the other set Coco Contour Kit, and I really like this. If I ever wanted to contour, which is... Never. I don't know, I just feel like contour... I'd rather a nice diffuse bronze look, effortless, you know, not so chiseled. I feel like I don't need to be chiseled. I just feel like does it like does it do anything? Like is it doing enough? You know what I mean? 
I'm gonna take a little fluffy angle brush. This is a Luxie 207. I'm gonna take that light contour and just go down my nose. And for bronzer, this is the Becca Summit Bronzer and Bronze Bondi. Bondi? Bronze Bondi. Becca's going out of business, guys. So go to TJ Maxx. Find what you can on sale because we have a lot of Becca stuff. I'm going to also like sweep that over the tail of my eyebrow. I need my bigger mirror. I'm going to be really glowy because this is also a glowy. Oh, I didn't put the blush. I'm choosing another blush, guys. I have to choose another blush because that blush over powder. No, mm -mm. I tried it and it ruined everything and I was miserable. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I refuse. We're going to do something else. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what I'm going to do, actually? We're going to use a Manny Me White blush because I haven't used his blushes in a while. And... I want to. So glowy. Okay, so let's go into this. Wow, itchy. That's annoying. This Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. What are we feeling? Tell me. I don't know. I think I'm gonna mix. Wow. What is up with this brush? Do you see that? She looks like she had a rough night. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go in with Stargaze and Gravity. Tap into both. I don't really dive into this palette anymore because I like very, not very glowy, but glowy blushes. Are we good out there? Everything fine? Wow. Okay, I want to take, wow, pick up some glitter in there. Take a little bit of star gravity and like focus that on the temple. The back part of my cheekbone. Add some more dimension in there. Wow, this is pretty though. Ooh. Okay, Manny, I'm sorry. Sorry for it. Ne neglecting you for so long. Yeah, I've been really into glowier blushes, but since my skin is extremely dewy right now, I figure this will be fine. And it is fantastic. It's fantastical right now. Mmm, look at it. Mmm. Mmm. I put it on my chin. I put it everywhere. Look how beautiful! Oh my god! I'm obsessed. So where's that? Now we have highlight, which... I don't know if I should spray before highlight, because then I always spray after highlight, or if I should just spray after highlight, because I'm already so freaking dewy. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think... You guys, I think I'm just gonna spray afterwards because I'm so freaking dewy right now, it's out of control. I'm just gonna tame it down a little bit. Well, there's no taming yet, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spray afterwards. So, this is the Pixie Rach Loves the Layers Highlighting Palette. I found, found this at GJ Maxx for nine dollars, and I think this is like 22 or something. Pixie's kind of expensive, guys. Pretty expensive, not gonna lie. Everything Pixie I have, I found at TJ. <laughs> not gonna lie, this is what she looks like. Checking my tweets. So this is what she looks like. She's cute. She's not my favorite. That's pretty. Oh, I speak too soon. I think I, I think I spoke too soon. I think I was being a little bit judgmental. 
So let's take my highlighter brush and I'm going to mix lace and tea. I mean, it's there. It's there. So there it is, highlighted. Let's see. Eh, it's pretty, but it's really not my favorite. So I, I could give this to someone else and they'd be happy with it. You know what I mean? It was, it's okay. It's not my favorite. And that's fine. It's fine. I mean, it looks nice on camera, but on my face in person, it's not the best highlight. Test the, mm, test the mist always. Oh. I feel like I just got beat up. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. Guys. That's a hard declutter right there. I don't need a spray that's going to disrespect me like that. So, yeah. She's a declutter. I'm going to use this, which I haven't used in a while. The Glam Glow Glow Setter. What was that there? Okay. Okay. Chill, chill, chill out, because I'm already glowing. We see that's what a spray is supposed to be. Um, Siate just jumped me, and I don't like that. She just tried to really jump me right now. Okay, guys. So there's my skin, extremely glowy. It made the highlighter look so much better. That is powdery and like on top of my skin, but blended in. And blush, look at that blush. <laughs> Stunning. So I'm gonna jump off real quick for you, but probably like 10 minutes for me to do my eyebrows. And then we can get into some my shadow. Maybe I'll zoom you in. Who knows? It's already been like 30 minutes and uh 30 minutes of just putting on makeup. <sighs> Give me a second. I keep trying to like convince myself that one of these days I will wash my brushes. I don't. I don't do it. Okay. I have eyebrows on. Champ stamp. Woo! Now we are getting into this Jackie Aina palette, which is incredible. It's in collaboration with Amy Leach. I want to say they do still sell this, but I don't know. I have the Smashbox primer on, which I don't know where it is now, but it's in the shade medium. So let's get into this, shall we? I also have this single shadow to use. So let's get into that. I really don't ever touch the pinks or purples. That red, but all the other colors are fair game. Even like the green, the weird tones. I really like those. So we're gonna get busy. We are gonna get busy. I'm gonna take a really big fluffy brush. Not really big, but pretty big. The JH30 from Morphe. I'm not really a fan of Morphe lately, but you know, I have the stuff so I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna put this into my crease. I will say this palette is designed more in mind with deeper skin tones. Design, it was designed with deeper skin tones in mind. Did I say that properly? Do I know English? And there was glitter somewhere. I think on the brush I used to blend out my primer, there was glitter on there. So that's fun. That's really great. But yeah. There's no very light transition shade. Oh, this is the shade Ginger, by the way, that I went into. This is not a very light transition shade. So, might pop into something else. Probably not, though. Maybe. Maybe. Just take a clean. Well, I don't think it's like very clean. But a somewhat clean brush and just really buff that in. 
going to take that ginger shade not as much on the lower lash line blend out those crazy creases and again I'm going to take that clean ish brush make sure everything is just blend it out smooth it out sure I'm going to take this Moda brush BMX 466 and the shade edges I kind of make the same look every time with this palette, but I'm going to put that on my outer corner and lower into the crease. This might be. I'm just placing that product in there and then I'm going to take that on the lower lash line as well, not as low, but putting it in there and taking that Morphe brush and just blending it in. This glitter is killing me, killing me. Okay, with that same motor brush, I'm going in with this shade. Credit, it's the deepest shade. Same technique, just put it on. Oh. Hello, pigment. Hello, pigment. I'm gonna try to keep that right in the outer corner. And like the teeniest top. Right into the outer corner of my lash line. I'm gonna take that Morphe brush and just Blend it in haphazardly. Just grabbing this random e.l.f. bite size shadow palette and cream and sugar. Okay. A flimsy, fluffy brush. Tapping into the lightest shade, that matte, just to pop that on top, right by my brow bone. Blend that in. And then on the lower lash line, towards this. Just to really make sure it's blended into the concealer and the rest of my skin makeup. Okay, this is the Dose of Colors Shall We Dance Block Party Shadow. I can never open these, not gonna lie. Color I'm working with. Okay, so I'm working with. Oh, I could just put that on my lid. Why not? Let's just put that on the lid. So I'm going to take this on a brush. I can't see into that mirror. Blade myself. Alright, let's try to wet that. Just to help it go faster. I'm going to use this evil setting spray. Spray the brush. I'm gonna coat both sides of the brush. Let's see. Okay, let me try to use my finger. Get some extra. Just put that haphazardly. Like that. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. And then I'm going to take the credit shade just a little bit. Just, just a teenser. I need a brush for this. I'm a different brush. I'm going to take a little bit. A little bit. And blend that out. Make sure it's the defined in the outer corner. Going to take the shade Soleil on my inner corner. It's a little bit more uh, champagne y in comparison. I'm going to put that on the brow bone. I'm going to take this ColourPop, ColourPop Elf, this shade right here. 
just because it's icy a little bit. Yeah. Because that solely shade was like a little too yellow for the Shall We Dance. So let me put my mascara on while we're here on this lash so you can get the full vibe. You know, I'm not buying when I use this mascara. So I'm going with the Kevin Aquan, the expert mascara. Weird wand on there. Well, what do you think? I don't know. I don't think I need it. Um, I'm going to finish the other eye off camera. I'm going to put on some lashes. Don't know which ones yet. And then we'll do the lip and we are done. I decided to put on one of the most dramatic pairs of lashes I have. <laughs> These are Lunar Beauty Aries. Very dramatic. That was a choice. I have that on. Also put on Maybelline Tattoo Studio Bold Brown Eyeliner to tight line. Blend in the lashes, the lower lash line. Yes, and then, but wait, there's more. House Laboratories Lip Liner in Myth. And now the Milani, what is it? The Milani Color Statement Lipstick 26 Nude Cream. I'll put this on. I think I need a little nude. Let me nude. This is Jaclyn Hill Nudie. Okay, so that's the final look. I think it turned out splendidly. The concealer, concealers are creasing. Could just be the mix or the powders I put on top of them. That dose of color shadow is absolutely stunning. It's incredible. The lashes are Dramatic, a little bit too dramatic for me, but you know, I put them on. Loved Manny's blushes, loved them, loved them. Incredible. Uh, what else? Gigantic palette, stunning primer, stunning foundation. I feel like I'm I'm losing my absolute love for it, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But it still looks, I think it's the setting powder, which the setting powder is nice and glowy, but I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. It was great. The highlighter, that setting spray that attacked me, it's being decluttered. Decluttered. But yeah. It was good. It was great. Thanks for joining me on another journey. Maybe next time you do a colorful look. Maybe next time I just opt for a colorful look. Who knows? Maybe a colorful lip. Who knows? Because I also never do colorful lips. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, even though it's not little, probably a long video. But I had fun. Oh, yeah. Well, I actually had some anxiety along the way. But it is what it is. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Comment. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification if you're feeling ready. I post, when I post, the giveaway is done at this point, And I would have reached out to the winners and sent out their prizes already. So thank you for entering the giveaway if you did. And if you won, congratulations. Let me know how you love the products. Well, I hope you love the products. 
let me know how they work for you. And hopefully you know they give away soon. If you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter, I'll link all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.